Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Woodhouse. Um, I thought I'd share with you a really quick update on Facebook, um, the new business pages experience. So I know everyone's getting a little bit confused about how it works and why they can't share things before when they used to be able to share things, just doesn't make any sense. Hopefully, once I've explained to you, um, it will start making sense. This is a bit rough and ready because I'm literally doing this off the cuff. So let me just share my screen with you. Um, and this should go straight over to my Facebook page. Okay, so we are currently on Facebook. This is me um, and I'm interacting as Sarah Woodhouse, the individual. Okay, and I can tell that because here is the profile pic for my personal Facebook page. And if I click on the drop down arrow, it tells me I'm interacting with Sarah Woodhouse. Now, this is a really important point. We all know that in order to have a business page on Facebook, you have to have a personal account first. So you have yourself as an individual and you have yourself as a business. And Facebook just links the two of you together. Now, that is as far as that link goes. It's purely a link to help you set up your business page. Once you've set up that business page, that link kind of no longer really exists. Facebook sees you as two separate entities, as the individual and as the business. OK, and as such, you can only comment and share um, and post as the entity that you currently are. So currently, right now, I am interacting with Facebook as Sarah Woodhouse, the person. So any posts I make, any comments I make, any sharing I do is as Sarah Woodhouse. Now, this is really important to remember because when you join groups on Facebook, you not always, but sometimes have the option of either joining as an individual or joining as your business. So if you've joined as an individual, you can only ever share information to those groups as you, the individual. If you've joined the group as a, as a business, you can only ever share information to those groups, share posts to those groups as a business. OK, that's really important to remember because Facebook sees you as two separate entities, even though the accounts are linked. You're an individual and you're a business. So let's see what that looks like in practice. So right now we've established I'm interacting as Sarah Woodhouse, the individual on Facebook. If I hop on over to my Facebook business page, Sarah Woodhouse Therapy, we can see that I'm not allowed to post on here. OK, I can't because I am acting as Sarah Woodhouse, the individual, not Sarah Woodhouse, the business. If I want to post on this page, I have to become the entity that is Sarah Woodhouse, the business. And to do that, I just switch over my profile. Top right hand corner on the icon, click, click on the little down arrow. You'll see next to it, you'll have a, a, another icon and it, it will say switch to whatever your business is called. In my case, Sarah Woodhouse Therapy. So I click on that, Facebook words away, bottom left hand corner, we should see appear. You are now acting as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy on Facebook. So now Facebook is seeing me as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy. So anything I post, anything I comment on, anything I share is as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy, the business. And you can see now I can actually create posts because I, I am acting as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy, the business. OK, so far, so good. Makes sense. Right. This is where we look at how sharing information becomes not tricky, but you have to think about it. OK, so. Lots of people like to share posts they've made to their personal Facebook page. So let's remember, you're the individual, you're the business. Right now, I am acting as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy, the business. Facebook will not let me share information to Sarah Woodhouse, the individual, okay? Because we're two separate entities. So in order to do that, I have to become, in order to share information from my business page to my personal page, I have to become my personal page, all right? The second thing is, if I want to share information um, to groups uh, from my business page, I have to adopt the entity of which I am a member of that group. So if I'm a member of the group as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy, the business, I can share information to them when I'm interacting as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy, the business, but I can only share information to them and where I'm a member of them as Sarah Woodhouse, the individual, if I am Sarah Woodhouse, the individual. So probably blown your mind a bit. Let's break that down. Okay, so right now I'm interacting as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy, the business. That is my identity on Facebook 
I cannot share this post to my personal page because I am not Sarah Woodhouse, the individual, and I cannot share it to any groups that I'm a member of as Sarah Woodhouse, the individual. I can only share this to members of group, to groups, sorry, where I'm a member as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy, the business. And to do that, I just tap on share. I click on more options and I share to a group and Facebook will show me the groups I'm a member of as Sarah Woodhouse Therapy, the business. Okay, so far, so good. If I want to, so if I want to share this information to a group I'm a member of as an individual, I have to change my entity. So in this case, I am a member of Love Reflexology as Sarah Woodhouse, the person. So if I wanted to share this particular post to Love Reflexology, I have to change my entity to Sarah Woodhouse, the person. And we do that by going up here, clicking on the drop down arrow, and I'm going to switch to Sarah Woodhouse, the person. Facebook words away, bottom left hand corner, you are now acting as Sarah Woodhouse on Facebook. So I'm going to tap in my business page there, Sarah Woodhouse Therapy. And you can see, I can't post on here any longer. I'm acting as Sarah Woodhouse, the individual. So I go down to the bottom of the post again. My personal icon is there now. If I tap on share, tap on more options, tap on share to a group, you will see that Love Reflexology has now appeared because I'm a member of Love Reflexology as an individual. I'm acting on Facebook as an individual, Sarah Woodhouse, the individual. So I'm allowed to share this piece of information to Love Reflexology where I'm a member as an individual. And I just tap on there and I can share as, as you normally could. Okay. I can also now share this post to my personal Facebook homepage, my personal Facebook feed, because I am acting as Sarah Woodhouse, the individual. And all I need to do is click on share. You can do share now through friends, or you can do um, share to feed. You can even share it to a friend. Um, so that is the way that you share information on Facebook about your business um, to your personal profile and to groups where you are a, mem a member of individually. So just a quick recap, although your accounts are linked, Facebook sees you as two separate entities, the individual, the business. You can only post, comment and share as that entity. So if you are the individual, you will not be able to share. Um, sorry, if you're acting as your business, you will not be able to share posts from your business to groups where you are a member of as an individual. You have to switch to your individual identity and then share the post from there. Before you go, another couple of quick things that you should check now we've changed over to this new business experience. Double check that your intro still runs okay. There is less word count in the new pages experience. So you may just need to adjust that. Obviously, make sure you've got your keywords in there so that the Facebook can, um, so the Facebook algorithms can share your information to people who might be interested in what you do. Double, double, double check all your contact details. I can't tell you the amount of times I've worked with clients and their links are broken or they've got the incorrect information in. Use the services button. It's a great way to showcase the products, that the services that you offer. And if you need to change anything on your page, all you need to do, I need to hop on over to Sarah the Woodhouse, the business to show you this. Okay, if you need to edit anything on your page, the, there's lots of different ways of doing it, but the quickest way is to click on that blue edit button. It will bring up all the information that you can edit. Um, you can go deeper by clicking on your edit about information. Oh, and it's worth pointing out actually, if you have a Google My Business page, turn off the reviews on your Facebook page. There's no point collecting reviews in two place. So that was quite a whirlwind tour. Again, final recap, you are two separate entities on Facebook. How you are able to interact depends on which entity you are and which groups you're a member of, either as a business or an individual. If you have any questions, um, please drop me a line. If you'd like me to do another video explaining any other element of Facebook or anything else for that matter, let me know, I'm here to help. I hope that helps a little bit. I hope it hasn't left you feeling more confused. Take care. Bye.